Well, during this pandemic, we've heard a lot about these COVID-19 long haulers. These are the survivors who experience lingering symptoms after they've recovered. That's right, and they can vary patient to patient. Yeah. Our Jenny Runovich talked with one patient who had a puzzling side effect, the loss of taste and smell that lasts long beyond that initial illness. Kathy Day had COVID-19 in March, shortly before moving from Indy to Arizona. The retiree's symptoms were mild. Didn't feel tired, didn't have a cough or fever, but I noticed that I wasn't able to taste or smell food. And that one side effect has persisted for 10 long months. It was like living in a vacuum with no smell or taste. It gets very depressing. You don't want to eat and you get mad when you eat because you can't taste anything. Two of her favorites never came back. The taste of bacon and popcorn are gone. It's like eating a piece of paper. It crunches, but that's about it. There's no flavor to it. Not the most devastating bag of dirty tricks that COVID has, but, but, but one of many of them. New Albany dermatologist Dr. Al Knabel has muted senses eight weeks after COVID. It's really made me redefine my uh, relationship with, with food and, and drink a little bit. And then there are other people where everything tastes like metal, and then there are other people where the wires have gotten crossed and they pick up a strawberry, but it tastes like an orange. A new study finds 86% of people with mild COVID cases lose their sense of smell and taste for up to six months. It can lead to depression and anxiety. Some retrain their brain using spices or intense foods. You sit there and you kind of ruminate over that smell as it's going through and you know you, you, you would have literally kind of put a name with it in your mind you could verbalize it if you want so you're saying you know thing like sauerkraut 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 or peanut butter peanut butter kathy tried aromatherapy which helped but created something strange too the cloves she smelled while drinking a pop now every time i drink diet pepsi it smells and tastes like cloves Long haul symptoms, science and survivors are still trying to understand. Just kept telling myself, you're not in a hospital. You're not sick. I was fine. If I had to live the rest of my life without my sense of taste and smell, at least I was living. Another interesting part of this new COVID-19 study shows only four to seven percent of people who had moderate to severe symptoms lost their sense of taste and smell. Yeah.